Hey guys, KD Clan here, and today we're gonna be doing a cubing video. So yeah, I got this new cube. It's the Land Land Super Floppy. Let me adjust the camera real quick. There you go. Can you, can you see it? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, it's the Land Land Super Floppy. It's super cool. I've messed with it a little bit. It came separate with the other package I'm gonna be opening today. Um, but yeah, looks pretty cool. It shape shifts. I'll do a quick solo on it real quick. Back it up a little bit. So it's so first you're gonna scramble it up just like this. Back a little bit there. We yeah, we're just gonna scramble it up like this first. Which I know is just doing U2 moves, but then we're gonna move the edges. And then Alright, so now it's pretty good, pretty well scrambled. And those of you who do not know, Super Floppy Cubes, oh my gosh, my camera, my phone, Super Floppy Cubes, Shape Shift. So, yeah, we're gonna do some shape shifting moves now. Oh, that, not, oh there we go, turned. Alright, so, yeah. Now we're gonna do this. So let's just act like there's a timer here. Let's get that in frame. Okay, ready, set, go. You guys can count in the in the um on the video. I think that locked up a little bit. Okay, this hasn't been a very good solve so far, but I mean I'm only gonna do one example solve and then, you know. Oh, you can also do this. You just turn it 180 or 90 degrees. Oh, dang. Yeah, I should have planned this out better, but I didn't. Yeah, there you go. A quick solve on there. Pretty cool cube. Has stickers on the inside. All right, now on to the package. So I'm gonna get a top angle of this. Just go about the information. I'm just gonna flip it over. But yeah. So we're gonna get that open. Alright, so yeah. Got some uh, bubble wrap. Throw that on the ground. Alright, so we're gonna do one by one. We're gonna do the not quite as exciting one and then the more exciting one. So this is the X Men Wingy Scube. Let's open it up. Oh, it comes in a nice package. This is magnetic, I believe. I mean, I haven't actually been verified that it's magnetic, but it feels magnetic because I've tried these before. So yeah, let's open this. Comes with a nice little container. Cool. Alright, so first turns. Whoa, that's really smooth. Okay, I'm gonna grab my other skew. Maybe, actually, no, I can't. I don't even know where my other skew is, to be honest. Um, let's see how this angle is. That's okay. Okay, so yeah, here's my skew. It's the X-Men wingy. Looks pretty good, actually. I'll do a quick solve on it. Okay, so I'm gonna solve on green. Ready, set, go. Um, I haven't solved skew in a long time. Um, then we're solving on green, so we gotta find blue. Oh, okay. So yeah, that's done. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna get a different angle of a, sol a couple solves on each cube, but yeah, put it back in the container. Pretty cool. Actually, I actually really like that skew. It feels a lot better than my one that I have now. Now, here's the really exciting one. This is the x man Bell Pyraminx. Magnetic, by the way. Stickerless. So let's get it out of here. Uh, extra magnets. That's cool. Uh, oh, there we go. Ooh, man. Feels, like, weird. Feels, like, really... 
luby on the outside. I'm actually gonna pause this. I'm gonna wipe that off. So, all right, guys, I've wiped off most of the lube. Oh, that's super smooth. This is also magnetic. See that click? It's really nice. Yeah, I've tried these. One of my friends have has them. And it feels just like this. Mine actually might feel smoother. So yeah, we'll do a quick solve on this one too. Alright, so we're gonna go with blue, I think. So yeah, ready, set, go. Uh, okay, that was uh, that actually might have been personal best. Uh, but yeah. X-Men Bell. It's really nice. Feels really smooth. Yeah, the tips are magnetic, so there shouldn't be a problem with getting plus twos, which means, like, you solve it, but you set it down where it's not quite solved. But yeah. Feels really nice, really quiet compared to my other pairings. Yeah, I really like it. So, I'm going to pause this real quick, and I'm going to get a different angle of some solves. Alright, guys, I'm back. I'm going to get a, some solves from a different angle. So, move the pamphlets and stuff out of the way. Overall, though, I really like these cubes. And the extra magnets out of the way. One second. <sighs> Alright, guys. I hope I'm in a good angle to uh, get some solves on camera. I hope. If not, that would suck. Yeah, this pyramid is really good. I really like it. This is a new cube. We've never had one of these. I messed around with one of them, though. And then my skew. Uh, which I think is the one with the most improvement from my last one. Like, it feels really good to sledgehammer on. I'm still learning how to finger trick sledgehammer on skewbs, so right now I just, like, solve it on the ground like this, which is easier for me at this moment. I probably should continue trying to learn. Oh, you can, you can corner twist. Hmm. Pretty hard, though. Don't think that'll be a problem. Alright, so yeah, let's get some... Get some scrambles here, or solves here. Um, so, uh, I'm gonna do this one first, because I don't even know how good this showed up on the first solve that I did. So, let's go over the solving. So, first you scramble it up like a regular, just, like, floppy cube. Like you would a regular floppy cube. And then... Once you think that's pretty thoroughly done... Then you start so you start doing this, which turns the inner pieces like that. I'll do it on this side like this. See how that that piece turn co uh, change colors for you guys. There's a bunch of different colors. There's two different colors: gray, or dark gray, or light gray, and dark gray. But yeah, then once that's done, then you start doing the shape shifting moves. But it's, you know, decently easy. Make sure it's not too easy to get back in a cube shape like that one. That's decent. Alright, ready, set, go. Um, so then you would match up the outsides. And then you would just start twisting the edges like this. So you can get into the right spot. So yeah, you can, you can comment down below how long that took. Uh, I think I'm going to do the skew first. Let's just mix it up. Alright. Pretty well mixed up. Alright, inspection. Okay. Ready, set. Okay, I'm going to solve one green. Let's go. Um, Okay. 
Whoa. It's like checkerboard. Alright. That was pretty quick. And then pyramid switch. I believe either that or the oh man, it's still really really loopy. Oh, I forgot to show you a P switch. It's super hard to get out. Get a whole bunch of lube all over my hands. I can't. My hands are all slippery, so I can't. But, uh, yeah. I mean, you can sort of see inside, but I can't get the edge out. Yeah, it feels really good. I don't even think I have to do anything to it. It's already, it already seems to be factory lubed. Magnetic, as you can see there, like how it popped back. You can still overshoot because, you know, it is quite a fast pyramid. Like, I, yeah, see that? I just. You can just flick it like that. Yep, yeah, and it goes all the way around. So I'm going to do a quick solve on this. And then I think that might be the end of the video. Uh, after, I think tomorrow I might be uploading a, another video. A cube collection video. So yeah, we're going to solve on green. Twist the corners. I think we're gonna solve on green. Green seems best. Alright, go. Um. Uh. I'll solve pyraminx a really weird way. Oh, that was actually pretty good. That was a decent solve. Yeah, I'll solve pyraminx really weird. Uh, I don't know why that so It sounds dry. It kind of has a little bit of spring noise. Same with this. It's not really noticeable. It'll probably go away and break it in. You know? So yeah, I think that's it for this video. I'll be doing a cube collection video hopefully tomorrow or the day after. Yeah. I now own like 18 cubes, so I think that's pretty cool. Once I hit 20, that's like my goal for the next month, or maybe a month after. But yeah. Man, this cube is like really good compared to my other one. But yeah. See you guys in the next one. Bye.